Philly Fingers here, discussing the nine ball three point break rule. Where on the break, a minimum of three object balls must either be pocketed or touch the head string or a combination of both. Failure to do so will result in a non-compliant break, which means your opponent can come to the table and accept the layout as is, but then he cannot perform a push shot, or he can choose to re-rack and he will break. I will now show you how, with very little force, you can still spread the balls very easily. And in a recent race to 11, I will now show you how many times I had a compliant break versus a non-compliant break. Starting with this first rack, I'll break from the left, but you'll see throughout the video that I'll break from all sides of the table. In this example, I make the 8 ball in the side, and the 9, 4, and 2 ball all cross the head string. Now breaking from the right of center, on this break, I make the 5 ball in the corner, and the 3 and the 6 cross the head string. Shooting from dead center, I now again make the 5 in the corner, and in this case, it's the 1 and the 2 that cross the head string. The 2 almost came up short, which would have made a non-compliant break. Still breaking from center, this time I make the 6 in the opposite corner, and the 1 and 2 cross the head string. As you can see, I'm not going to use a lot of power. I'm just having a nice fluid stroke. And still, the three, the one, go up table into the corner, and the five crosses the head string. Also note, I'm using a very light brake cue, only 18 ounces. I don't feel a heavy cue helps. And even with this very light cue, you'll see the eight, and then the six go right into the pocket, and the four crosses the head string. I'm definitely one who doesn't believe in a heavy brake cue. And to prove that out in this next rack, I tried using my heavier brake cue. This one is about 21 ounces. And what you'll see here is, actually I'm gonna get my first non-compliant brake. Although the five crosses the head string and goes in, which is two points, the one fails to cross. So it's a non-compliant brake. Switching back to my lighter brake cue, I now make the eight in the corner, and the one and the seven cross the head string. I'm also mostly using an open bridge since I'm not using a heavy stick and I'm not putting a lot of power in the stroke and that enables me to make a ball in the corner, the four in the side, and the one in the eight cross the head string. It's more of a controlled break, almost like I'm just shooting a regular shot. You'll notice I also don't jump into the shot. It's really all about the elbow, the elbow snap and a little bit of a shoulder drop. I'm actually trying to reduce the shoulder drop. To that point, in this next rack, I start to overthink the shoulder drop and I try to work on it so much that it takes a little bit off my swing and here I result in my second non-compliant break. So out of 11 breaks, I made nine and I fouled on two. So to recap, the three-point rule and getting three balls to cross the line or be pocketed isn't that hard. It's really mainly a lot easier to me anyway when you don't overthink it and you don't try to overpower it. The balls are going to spread naturally as long as you make a solid hit on that one ball. And sometimes you could even make the nine on the break. Well, that's my take on the three-point break rule. Till next time. <laughs>